when you have magnets interfacing with a conductor, voltage is induced. Electroculture is, I guess, a broader term of the utilization of these principles. The antenna heads produce electricity in a myriad of ways because you have the positive cations being collected by the aerial antennas. At the negative point, you have the anions, the negatively charged ions. And when those flux through the wire, they create voltage. And that voltage has the effect of transmuting elements, fixing nitrogen. I mean, it fixes ammonias into nitrogen that are usable. So then you have plants that aren't biocapacitating, accumulating too much ammonia in the soil. They put that ammonia buildup out through the leaves as infrared light. And that's what a lot of the bad insects come for. That's their signal of weak plants. Then they don't come for the plants. And then the collateral damage of them spreading all the soil-borne disease up from the soil when they're crawling around isn't there. So you have kind of this manifold of benefits that just keeps on stacking. And on top of it, yields are staggering. I can only suggest people try it because as a farmer, it's like when you go from seeing, let's say just for a real vague idea, like eight rows of something, and then you start seeing those eight rows produce 20 times what you were getting. So you cut down to four Four rows and you add some more lines and you, you get what you got the previous year again and you keep cutting your your planting down in half and you keep getting more yield that's all i know for a fact just from doing it for years